How are you doing today? I have two questions for you today. My first question is for you today. Do you ever have a time or perhaps know somebody who is experiencing a time where you feel that someone in your life or perhaps just life in general done so much it feels like you you being broken like somebody feel like you feel like somebody trying to break you or something and second question do you know what's the requirement for being a jack or lantern these things here next to me is a this image is a jack or lantern and do you know what's one number one requirement for a pumpkin to become a jack or lantern <laughs> for a pumpkin to become a jack or lantern the one thing that it that needs to happen is it needs to get cut you can have a solid pumpkin and you can give as much light as you want it to from it and the pumpkins will not shine light from inside of it like jack o lantern and this week you and i are sharing on real life tips life tools that we can learn from pumpkin the unassuming pumpkin and and one thing is that that we can learn from being a pumpkin or from pumpkin actually is that sometimes sometimes we need to be so called cut Sometimes we need to be broken open a little bit to be cracked open a little bit, not completely cut up just like this pumpkin, but cut a little bit for us to be able to allow light to come into us. And then just like a jack or lantern, we bring the light out in the most unique and beautiful way that is very specific to you and actually bring a whole lot more value when you're doing that. If you ever go buy pumpkin, regular pumpkin and then you go buy same size same size of pumpkin but now it's a, a, a ready for a, a carved pumpkin so in other words it's already been carved and ready to become a jack o lantern the carved one the one that's already been cut and got it and so forth so it's actually you can't even let's say get the pumpkin seed anymore or something it's just a shell but the one that's already been cut cost more than the regular pumpkin. And if you buy a ready set deck or lantern where there is a light source and things like that in it, where you just put it and, and push a button and then the, the, the pumpkin light up, that costs even more. And usually the, 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 the one that is the actual deck or lantern has more cutting <laughs> than the, just the typical car, car pumpkin. And so, and so if you are going through things in life and this is my piece of mind tip for you this week as well if you are or somebody you know going through things in life perhaps perhaps now this time of a year at least in in this uh, northern hemisphere where there's a bunch of pumpkins around yes perhaps to consider that maybe just maybe it's life trying to help you trying to help you by allowing you to crack open a little bit, to crack open a little bit, to bring more of life's light into you. So you will be able to shine it the way that you are meant to shine light. And yes, certain things in your life might need to get cleaned up. Just like for a pumpkin to become the jack or lantern, it needs to get clean up all the what we call the pumpkin gut, the part of the pumpkins that's not serving a jack-o'-lantern, the pumpkin seed and all those things got to be cleared out. And and so we sometimes, sometimes we might feel that we are certain things taken away from you, certain things taken away from you. But perhaps, but perhaps, just perhaps, it, it, those are things that's no longer serving you that is going to only be in the way of you being able to allow life's light to fully enter you just like a tech or lantern and bring your what your unique very special we thought we this week we also share that every pumpkin is different so even if you have two pumpkins carved in the same way to, to, uh, to become a jack or lantern each of them is uniquely different they have different light arrangement and things like that 
to bring your unique light, life's way to allow you, to help you bring your unique life into humanity, to allow you to bring your unique life in the most beautiful and specific to you. And at the same time, just like being a pumpkin and a deck or lantern, we bring your value even more, allowing you to give more and naturally receive more as well. Perhaps just consider that. Doing the work I work as grip transformations, I see practically everybody who has done such great work in their life, been through something, been through something that at some point they feel that they're being cut up. They feel that they're be having things being taken away. And perhaps it's a physical thing. Sometimes it's an emotional thing. Sometimes it's a connection to things. But I my piece of mind tip for you this week and for all those who you now are going to think, just to consider it from being a pumpkin to being a jack o' lantern. Sometimes life carve us. Sometimes life cut and carve us and clean us up. Up, clean, clean us out from things that we no longer need to allow you to bring even more beautiful, even more beautiful than already now, light into life and humanity in a way that's very specific and unique to you. And please share in the comment below. If you ever have such an experience, please share in the comment below if you're going to have jack o' lantern or pumpkin in your uh, in, in in your home this year. Perhaps share some pictures. I would love to see some pictures. We saw my pumpkin the other day, and I might even also get some jack o' lantern as well. And then please share in the comment below if you have any feedback. So welcome to share this video with anyone that you'd love. And this is Bridget with Joyful Reaches Beyond Grief. I see that as you embrace life and what life sometimes try to help us that you experience even much more peace of mind and even more joy and more ease and we're bringing more value and welcoming even more abundance and success in your life creating a beautiful thriving life one day at a time and a magnificent thriving life as a whole and i love you very very much and see that you have a beautiful the rest of your days, weekend, weekend. I look forward to see you again very, very soon.